Are you cracking your head about that dreaded bomb shelter in your flat? I have the solution for you in this video. Stay tuned. Hi guys, nice to see you again in Interior Design with Ray, bringing you tips and tutorials for your home renovation journey. I know it's annoying to keep telling you to subscribe to my channel, but it really makes a lot of difference. 80% of viewers who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So if you're one of them, please take this chance to click the subscribe button and help make sure this channel continues to grow. Thank you very much. I'm sure every new or some resale flats have that dreaded bomb shelter's door that sticks out like a sore thumb. If it's at the passageway to the bedrooms or at the kitchen, then good for you. But what if it's smack right at your main entrance? In today's video, I'm going to showcase three design ideas on how to conceal the bomb shelter tastefully. Mm, by the way, why is it called bomb shelter and not household shelter? Anyway, who cares? Let's find out now. Hi guys. Okay, this is a very typical layout for a four-room HDB BTO. Um, this flat is situated at Anchor View. You can see that once you enter, the bomb shelter is actually on the right-hand side. It's actually facing the dining area. The kitchen is somewhere here. And the living is over here. So if you look at this wall here, the depth is not very deep. So I think it's about 200 mm. So 200mm, you can't actually make a storage cabinet because it's not uh, deep enough. So what I did was to uh, actually just to extend out this thing first. Okay, and then after you clear the small leaf door, you can increase the depth. So that it's uh, deep enough to construct a storage cabinet. Okay, so what you can do is actually to have the wall feature for the bomb shelter done this way so you can see there's a little bit of the wall space here which uh, what I did was to create a shoe cabinet okay and then over here this is where the bomb shelter door is so I will also do a door here okay just to flush with the existing bomb shelter door and then over here there's a little bit of uh, storage cabinet as well so in this uh, detail layout plan you can see that there's this uh, box up here to clear the small leaf door first before the wall feature starts from here and all the way Right, so this is the storage, storage, and there's a door here. And in this detailed elevation, you can see that the, there are three parts. Okay, so the first part is actually the storage, the smaller storage cabinet, uh, where I propose uh, having a hanging rod for umbrellas. Okay, there's some drawers here for socks and uh, open shelving right followed by the door that goes into the bomb shelter and uh, shoe storage cabinet is over here right and the external will be simple groove lines right all in equal width vertically down okay just to hide the door line of all the storage cabinets and also the door to the bomb shelter okay let's take a look at um, design number two which is uh, same issue the household shelter is actually just at the side of the main entrance okay so once you step in it's also on the right hand side uh, but this time around you can see the wall here is very very narrow so it's not possible to actually make a wall feature here yes you can but it's going to be a very thin one okay so what I did was to start from here okay um, the clearance is just enough to clear the 
uh, bomb shelter's door handle and uh, it goes all the way here right since I'm gonna hack this two wall away I actually constructed the feature wall all the way until here so this part here will be constructed using a glass panel and then uh, there's also a sliding glass door which is somewhere here okay this is the detailed layout plan from the top once you enter okay uh, there's nothing here nothing on the wall here because of the main door that is uh, swinging towards this direction so I've started the feature wall before the bomb shelter so it starts from here it goes all the way and standing out into the kitchen uh, entrance okay so the door for the bomb shelter is over here um, in actual fact it's actually um, half half okay the design is in a way that is half here and it's half here followed by a sliding glass door that slides behind this uh, feature wall and then a fixed glass panel okay so this is the elevation of the feature wall for the bomb shelter so as mentioned is half half so this part here is the first part and this part here is the second part okay so where is the door the door is actually here okay I did a full panel door right and then uh, this part here is actually a fixed panel the design is in a way that it has got this diamond shape right so this diamond shape is actually to take away the attention of the vertical lines which is uh, one of the lines is actually the line for the swing door right, which is here okay so what you see is just basically some black groove lines uh, four diamonds okay there's one more in the middle and because this is a fixed panel and is uh, slightly covering up the kitchen cap uh, kitchen cabinet so what I did was to make this panel into a clear glass okay so this panel is a clear glass that light can actually pass through from the kitchen to the dining area and the sliding glass door slides behind this uh, fixed panel here and then there's one more fixed uh, glass panel which is like somewhere here right so this is the glass door with a recess handle and it slides this way so last but not least the third design idea that you can do for your bomb shelter this is a five room BTO at Dawson and uh, Dawson has this layout that one of the bedroom is actually separated from the rest of the bedrooms here okay so at this uh, bedroom area outside is just the living room okay and at the side here is actually the bomb shelter main door is over here so the bomb shelter is actually not facing the main door but just a few steps away so looking at this floor plan the best way to conceal the bomb shelter right is actually to conceal the entire wall including the bedroom tree door rather than just uh, concealing just the bomb shelter so what you can do is uh, right, just do a full length feature wall right to hide the wiring for your TV the wall mount TV the door to the bedroom and also the door of the bomb shelter and uh, you can actually extend out until here okay have a little bit of uh, thickness here so that you can conceal your switches somewhere here All right so when you enter straight away you can turn on the switch of your lights so having done this it's actually quite straightforward first is to conceal the uh, bomb shelter door which is uh, this way right secondly 
I'll remove the bedroom door okay and then have the new door for the bedroom swing the same direction right this way as well and thirdly this is a space for a TV console so you can buy off the shelf or you can customize a TV console and put it here Okay, so this is the detail layout plan of the bomb shelter and the entire feature wall. So on this side here, right, there's a feature wall that goes up all the way. Right, there's a certain thickness so you can hide your switches here. And then it goes here and here. Uh, there's some fluted panel over left and right. And uh, on the left side fluted panels, it actually overlaps into the uh, common bedroom door okay so it kind of uh, hides the joint line of the door in the middle is just the bomb shelter door okay and then over here is the feature wall for the TV where you can warm out the TV and uh, at the bottom you can buy off the shelf for a TV console okay so this is the elevation of the entire feature wall these are the fluted panels left and right the door is in the middle that swings up right you can use a tic tac door this is another door to the common bedroom the gap of the door is actually being concealed by one of the strips somewhere here okay so you, you see lesser gaps on the feature wall all right and then followed by this uh, tv wall feature okay so you can mount your tv and then and hide the cable inside and drop down into the TV console below. I'm sure you guys are eager to see the before and after. Here they are. So what if you are tight on budget or simply don't want to spend so much concealing a bomb shelter? Best solution is you just paint over the entire wall and door with the same color wall paint. That's it. Actually concealing a bomb shelter shouldn't be a complicated thing to do as long as form and function are taken care of. I hope you have learned something again today and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and of course subscribe to my channel. So stay tuned for my future videos, till then take care and I'll see you again.